I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? So I got the early prototype in kind of like 2021, which is obviously a lot happened in the last couple of years. There's been uh, quite quite the journey, um, but I started off trying the EL34 version, which absolutely lovely, um, super super stunning, kind of clean tones, reverbs on it, amazing. Um, the reason that I ended up going for the 6L6 over the EL34, I've never used pedals. Um, I have just started just purely as a kind of a, a precaution, just in case I need it, um, but I've never relied on them. Um, so the, the, I think it was more the fact that the 6L6 just had the distortion on tap, so I didn't have to so much rely on my pedals too much. Um, I think was kind of the decider for me, really. Um, and I think the clean tone on it as well is just stunning, so I kind of get the best of both worlds. Well, I'll be honest, I was that kid when I was younger. I was just like, imagine one day, what is that gonna feel like? I mean, it was, it was just something I always kind of dreamt of, I guess. Um, and I'm sat here right now, and I do have my own, and I honestly, I, this is not me joking, I, I honestly can't believe it. And uh, I think the biggest thing for me is, obviously I'm, I'm 18, and the fact that Blackstar have kind of put the trust in me to have my own colour special is just like a huge honour and privilege for me. It, it just, it means a lot. And uh, Blackstar feels like an extended family as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it's pretty striking as well. So we, uh, obviously the little squiggle was uh, my fair hand. <laughs> um, honestly, we went up to Blackstar for like a day, just going through just like little squiggles to try and find the right one. Um, but the, the logo is just like my stock logo. Um, so we had that design for us externally, but uh, yeah. So I think it started off as HT and then I'm pretty sure it was pre-St. James. Yeah. And then obviously the whole St. James program got accelerated. Yeah. And I've ended up with the Beast of the Amp, which I which turned out perfect. And nice and light. <laughs> so yeah, I think obviously with COVID happening, it, it did mean that setbacks were to happen. So it wasn't as easy to be able to just head up to Black Star and go through the kind of the external look of it and uh, and going over particular colours, what we were going to go for for the piping, the material. Obviously we couldn't do that, so we had to do that at home, um, which was, it still worked out great, um, but obviously things weren't as easy, so it did, it did make things a little bit longer, um, but I think it was definitely worth the wait. It's, it's just quite hard to believe, because these are all people I, I look up to, so to be kind of on the, I guess, the, the colour series with them is just unbelievable for me. Um, and as I said, I, I can't describe it more than an honour and a privilege because it's still something that, you know, I look at it now and think, oh, that's a cool looking amp. And then it sets, it ha well, in fact, it hasn't quite set in yet that that's, that's my amp. And uh, I don't think it will for a while. Um, it's been a, a long-term dream, so for it to finally come true is, is amazing.